Welcome in to the final matchup in the opening day of the OHS BBA State Tournament. It's a Division II semifinal between the St. Francis de Sales Stallions and the Stephen T. Baden Rams. Alongside Richard Skinner, I'm Jason Griefer. Great to have you with us here on the CSP Media Production. The second and final semifinal matchup in Division II of the day. The winner will take on Carroll in the state championship. Sunday at 2 o'clock, Carroll sweeping St. Vincent and St. Mary earlier in our action on this opening day, 2018 and 21, to get into the championship. In this matchup, the Stallions of St. Francis de Sales, 20-4 and four on the season, winning 3-1 in the East Region over St. Charles to get here. It's their fourth appearance in the state tournament, first since 2016. They made the final back in 2015. The Baden Rams, meanwhile, the number one team in the state of Ohio in Division II. They've been there all year long. They're 24-2 on the season off of a sweep of LaSalle in the South Region to get here back to the state tournament. They got to this point last year and were upset in the semifinal round. Ultimately, Bishop Fenwick won the state championship. Of course, Fenwick was eliminated in their region, and thus we were guaranteed a new state champ. So, interesting matchup between these two here. Skinny is the way we look at things, especially on the Baden side, as good as they've been all year long, and also led by Anitra Brockman, who after the season is leaving Baden. She's going on to take on both the men's and women's programs at Central State. So, a little extra motivation for the Rams here to close it out. Yeah, and you got to think that last year was kind of that two-step process a lot of times to, to getting to a championship or winning a championship. You got here, you got to the semifinal round, you fell short to the eventual state champion, a team from your own league in Fenwick. This time around, you at least have, at least in this round, a different opponent from, from outside of, of your conference. And you've got guys that have been in this arena, been in this atmosphere before. That's got to help. Yeah, it really does. And it also helps when you have one of the best outside hitters in the state in Eli Howell. First team All-State honoree, but setting the table for this Baden offense all year long has been Anitra Brockman's son, Jordan, the sophomore setter. He'll work the offense quite a lot in this matchup. So interesting to see how that works. On the other side for DeSales, Cameron Hoying, Cameron White will be a couple of key guys to keep an eye on in this one if DeSales is to pull out the win and move on to the championship against a Carroll team. It was very impressive. We had on our air a little bit earlier against St. Vincent St. Mary. Yeah, they looked really good. <laughs> I'd almost put them in the category of best team of the day, and that includes yeah. the Division One quarterfinals that we had. They were dynamic, didn't have hardly any hitting errors, very few service errors. They were great defensively. They put balls away. Um, whoever comes out of this one's got their hands full tomorrow for sure. And we are looking forward to getting the championship to you tomorrow, but first, a semifinal to determine who will meet Carroll in the championship championship. It's Baton and St. Francis of Sales next on OHSBBABroadcasts.com. And now let's meet the teams. First, the visitors on our scoreboard, the Rams of Stephen T. Baton High School.
John Edith Roll Hopper, Chris Hogan, Kenny Hogan, Manager T.J. Apple, and your varsity head coach, Andy Bell. The best crowd of the day we've had thus far in Pick Central, ready for this semifinal matchup between two number one seeds, DeSales and Baden. As the two teams shake hands beforehand, Richard Skinner has our officiating lineup. Our first referee in the chair, the upper referee, is Mary Black. The down referee, the second referee, is David Barnes. And our line judges, Brian Washburn and hardworking Jim Mallott. This is the fourth of six matches he's worked today. It will be on the near side. Baden will be on the right side of the court in the black jerseys with white numbers. Save for Libero, Sam Bornhagen, and DeSales will be on the left side. I'm going to wear an old school basketball jersey styles, if you will. They'll be in the purple and white letters and numbers, except for Sam Marchio, the Libero for the Stallions. Those jerseys, I'm looking for Strap and Ollie. <laughs> See if they run the version of the picket fence here in volleyball. It's a really good Rams team, though. 24-2. and two. One yes. of their two losses to Beaver Creek, which is in the semifinals of the Division I tournament. That was a five-setter yeah. in the loss to Beaver Creek. A, a Division II team in classification only. Yep. They can play with anybody at the Division I level are the Baden Rams this year. They are so well balanced. And Jordan Brockman, the sophomore setter up front, wearing five in black. He will be the one that dictates the tempo. Bro Jordan Brockman, the, of course, the son of head coach Anitra Brockman at Baden, who wants to extend her coaching career at Baden for at least one more game. She'll have to win this one against a talented sales team to do it. It's going to be a raucous crowd. The crowd below us, just barely kind of in your camera range, across the way is the Baden side of it. Below us, there are a lot of fans, obviously, from St. Francis de Sales right here in Columbus. Very two contrasting colors. So very easy to tell who's rooting for who. San Marquillo will have the opening serve to our left. The winner advances to tomorrow's state championship where the Carroll Patriots are waiting. And here is Brockman. And right away they go to Ian Halverson. First team All-State for a reason. Reads it beautifully and Baden has the opener. How about not swinging big on the first time through, just giving a little drop shot. And you can't blame Evan Althaus and Cameron nope. Hoying up front for trying to challenge the hard one. Brockman the southpaw, the knuckler. Hoying lets Ooh. it back and that ball caught Sam Bornhagen. He was just in the wrong place as that ball was going long. Hoying now to serve it. Honorable mention All-State for him, as is Cameron White for the Stallions, who just checked out. Good serve received by J.J. Even. Near side, off the tape, it's alive. Evan Aldhouse finds some space. Good start for DeSales. And the purple and white in attendance here, like what they see thus far. Hoying will get another opportunity. Hoying, a tall drink of water. Not much meat on the bones as of yet. Fires the serve into the net. And White comes back in to the front line, replacing Michael Massman. And for Baden, Eli Halverson on serve. He's watching Cameron White in warm-ups. He's only six feet tall, but wait till you see him get up. First serve received for him. Hoying with the tap, and that's a tough play to make on that far side for Michael Hunsaker. And hit off the antenna, and so we're tied at two. And now baiting ahead by one. Probably good for DeSales to have Halverson on the serve line. He's got 444 kills on the season, 100 more than anybody else inside the GCL co-ed. Hunsaker gets that one through this time to take the serve back for the Stallions. And here goes Cameron White, the junior, to serve it in. Caught some tape, playable for Vornhagen. Here's Brockman. Poked long. Oh, good play by White. A good stab up front, 50-50 ball. And a net violation called against DeSales. I think they got Althouse with it the was touch. Althouse. Yeah, that's, that's unfortunate because White made a really good play to dig that one out. Quick reflexes. It'll put Patrick Ray on serve for 
the Rams, the junior outside hitter. Boying, quick back set. Boy, you do not see that quick back sets like that very, very often. I think that's the first one we might have seen all day today here in our coverage of the tournament. And Evan Allhouse puts it away. Perfectly done. Give the assist to Cameron Hoying up front. The six foot eight setter, Cameron Hoying. Brockman with the set. Halverson from the back. Michael Hunsaker. Not there. Point to Baden, and back and forth we go early on. Not, not a surprise there. These two teams did not meet in the regular season. Yeah, a little feeling out process perhaps for both. Luke Dwyer, the senior, comes with the next service. Not the best serve received from Marquillo, but still playable. Vornhagen, nice job. 50-50, and Brockman keeps it alive. And drops for J.J. Even. Now Brockman made that play defensively. And Brockman, another guy small in stature, but he can get up as well as anybody here in this. Boying setting it up. Michael Cavanaugh blocked and out. I think it was Brockman that got up to block it at 5'8 to block it out. He was there, and I believe also there was 14 Zach Wagner, but it goes out of play. Luke Gabrielli to serve for the Stallions. So they trail by one in the opener. Tough play there. Brockman trying to muscle it through. Still playable, though. Here's White from the back. Got a good bid on that. Sure did. Brockman in a setup. Not the best pass nope. here at all. Led even right to the net in no man's land. Brockman will give one of those every once in a while. He is just a sophomore. But still a very strong setter. Six up. 50-50 again. Good set. And a poke there. Kept alive. Going the wrong way. White couldn't get it. Didn't. Want to crash into the bench on that far side. And he also had Sam Marchio coming down that sideline as well. They almost collided, so probably the better part of Valor for both of them to pull up. Yeah, way too early to try and risk anything yep. like that. J.J. even on serve. Hoying out wide. Kavanaugh caught the chest of Bornhagen. Great scrambling from Baden. On the slide, Bornhagen there again. Brockman. Sets up Halverson. White, so quick on that back line. Kevin All wants more. Warnhagen down to a knee. Halverson had to wait just a bit. Doesn't matter as he plays it off the chest of Marquillo for the point for the Rams. But how about the two plays that Warnhagen made on that back line, though? Going to a knee twice. Even on serve and an 8 6 Rams lead. Boying indecisive decision, another play. Yeah, very. And misses that wide. Thrown off from the get-go was that one. I think Hoying that kind of lost his footing on the floor. Didn't know if that was going to play in or not. And so J.J. even giving his team a little breathing room here early, but gives one right back. We haven't really seen anybody with a real bullet serve yet. Both teams... Going safe here early on. Let's see what Kavanaugh has to offer. Yeah, White to say, yeah, Cameron White to some degree. Halverson. Well, you could see on the near side, Zane Patterson as he went up, tucked the head. He knew what was coming from Eli Halverson. Mentioned inside that GCL co-ed where you also have Carroll that's in the finals. He had 444 kills, 120, 131 more than the next closest player in the league. <laughs> How about that dump over? Six foot eight setter, as you mentioned earlier, Skinny. That's great. And that's just a player right there, especially going against 5'8 Jordan Brockman in the middle for Baden. It's going to be there almost any time Boy wants it. I'll bet you we see that quite a bit. Sam Marchio in on serve. Now Brockman going to set up Halverson. Took a little off that time. Playable for Marchio. Boying setting up White. There's those hops. Brockman playable. Halverson blocked. 
Halverson again gets it through everybody. Well, that's just his teammates being aware on the block to keep it alive and reset him up again. That's almost given a good, great player three chances to kill, and he finally got it on the third. You got Old House at 6'6 six, six and Hoying 6'8, and he somehow found an opening. Here is Cameron and White. This kid who can jump, and it's in. He got it right on the line. Just effortless the way he rises. And now it puts Hoying on serve. Catches some tape. Brockman going with the back set. He was looking for Halverson. You could see him take a peek behind to see if Halverson was coming. And Brockman's pass right on target. But how about J.J. even playing that service to get things set up? Just nice and soft as he just bumped it up ahead to a teammate for the set. And then Halverson's going to put it away. Here is Halverson now on serve. And he can bring it when he chooses. Going with the back set to White. Soaking White. Oh. These are two of the most, if not the two most, athletic teams we've seen in this tournament in either division. And they're meeting here in the semifinal. 12-10 in favor of Baden with Cameron White on serve. Well, that had some heat. And yeah, he's, he's the one another. that's got a little bit of meat on it for sure. Brockman over with the third open opportunity. Hoying to Kavanaugh, blocked and back over to the Stallions. White from the back. Bornhagen again. Oh, he mistimed it. Aldhouse. Indecisive. Yeah, Evan Aldhouse just mistimed that one. He had a chance to just dunk it back across. And now a timeout going to be taken by DeSales as they fall down by three here in set one. Baden 13, DeSales 10. A lot of good action early on in this Division II semifinal. St. Francis DeSales takes a timeout with Baden leading 13 to 10. And it is the one-two punch of Jordan Brockman and Eli Halverson. The difference thus far for the Rams as they have gotten things going on their side of things. DeSales has had some opportunities for sure. Baden just a touch better here in this first set as we're nearing the midway point. It'll be Patrick Ray on serve for the Rams. Patrick Ray. Yeah, the two losses for Baden this year, I mentioned they lost to Beaver Creek in five sets. They're playing in a semi tomorrow, and they lost to Carroll. They actually split with Carroll in the regular season as well. White got a piece. Yeah, we saw, we, we saw in some matches earlier where there were some, a lot of points off of errors, and that happens. That's part of the sport, but we've had a lot of no. clean points in this one. This has been clean and decisive thus far for both teams, and so that's exactly what you want to see in a semi, state semifinal. Good play, Brockman. It'll just be played safely over, but should be a golden opportunity here. <laughs> and the delivery is made. Coming up to put that one away is Zane Patterson. Adding to the size up front. Just six foot six coming off the bench. How about you get Patterson at 6'6, six, six, Althaus at 6'6, six, six, and your setter Hoying at 6'8, and Cameron White only at six feet, but he jumps like a 6'8 guy. Brockman with the left hand and a little bit. Of confusion sets up the Stallions. Kavanaugh. Hornhagen for the second. Here is Halverson from the back. Not much on it. Wing to Kavanaugh once more, trying to push that through. Uh, net violation, I believe. Yeah, they got Kavanaugh with it. Luke Dwyer now in. It's the senior laden and veteran laden Baton group. Eight seniors on this roster. Kavanaugh. Oh, fine. great play. Great dig from Halverson. White keeps it alive, but not within the confines of play. JJ even making the play on the Baton side. What has Halverson not done in this first set? Other than set one to himself, which he can't do anyway. And if he could, he'd probably execute it flawlessly. Probably would. Hoying sets it up for White. He gets so much on that from the back he line. Does. And now Patterson 
Sees one carry over and puts it back. I think that's a testament to his leaping ability. He's be able to get up high enough where he's swinging down on it. And he's got, coming from the back line. These aren't even close to the tape either. No, right. But with a downward motion to it. Yes. Luke Gabrielli now on serve. DeSales trailing by two at 15-13. Even goes long. Not touched by the DeSales Stallions. Not a surprise that things are tight between these two great teams. There's another great one waiting in the state championship, the Carroll Patriots. Gabrielli not happy with that first toss, so we'll try it again. A little flat serve this time. Brockman into the middle and a beautiful job by Zach Wagner coming in off the bench and making his presence felt. Yeah, and he did a great job to stay away from the block, too. He Two blockers went up, and he just went to the left of both of them. Even now to serve. Baden maintains the small lead. Oh, there was miscommunication. Boy. Hoing, Boy. I, think, I think White thought Hoing was going to take it almost definitively, and he backed away from it. That's exactly what happened. I was just about to say, yeah, Hoing at the last second just vacated the, the area and left White hang, hanging out to dry. 17-14 in favor of Baden. That's a big point in a tough time to give up. Arkeo handles this one 50-50, and a net violation called there against to sales. I don't think it was going to matter anyway because there to stuff it back across was Patrick, or was, excuse me, Zach Wagner. Four-point Baden lead. White playing that one off to the side. Here's Hoying out wide, winding up, but it's blocked. Quick play in the middle, and there's Patterson. St. Patterson takes it back. One of seven juniors on this DeSales roster. Yeah, they don't have a ton of seniors. Kind of in a spot to where, where Baden right. was a year ago. Exactly. Here is Halverson. He's been quiet for a while, no longer. The rotation to the front line, and Brockman finds him immediately. His hitting percentage is really good. I mean, he doesn't miss very much. Sam Bornhagen, the Baden libero to serve with the Rams leading by four. Hoying out wide to White. Playable. That was Brockman that got up to block it. Halverson again from Brockman. And Anitra Brockman points at her son and says, that's exactly how I've been teaching you your whole life. Timeout. DeSales. Baden just a bit better right now in every facet of the game. And as we head towards the end of the first set, the number one team in the state leading by five. Welcome back. DeSales spends its second and final timeout of the set. Andy Feltz looking for answers as his team has fallen behind by five. And Baden right now, not a big gap between the two skinny, but the Rams just more just more crisp in their execution. Yeah, and I, I honestly, I'm not sure what the answer is for, for DeSales at the moment. Baden's just executed at a higher level. And really, DeSales has not made errors. No. I think if anything for Coach Feltz is just stick with it. Yep. Hoying out wide to White. Wow. I said it earlier in the set, that is effortless for him to get up as high as he has. And he times it so well. That's the other part. It's one thing to be able to jump. Another thing to time it the way he's timed it. It's I thought Hoying was going to dump that one across. I really did because it was so close to where he could have done that. But good set. Marchio with this one here is Brockman. Halverson Look, says, we got a pretty good one-two oh punch, too. Oh, my goodness. I think that even impressed his setter because Brockman ran around him. He's got to go back to the <laughs> service line. But yeah, Mark, uh, over on the bench there, Ian Saborin oh. is losing his mind. That was mean. Somebody checked the ball and the floor yes. for a dent. Long floater goes long for Brockman, and Mom's not going to like that on the bench. That's a tough thing for Jordan Brockman to handle. No matter how well he does on the floor, he still has to go home with his coach. Well, when you're 24 and 2, you go home happy most yes. of the time, I'm going to guess. Yes, you do. <laughs> Hoying on serve. Oh, oh good my one. goodness. Just oh, a wow. hair long. Wow. He was right on it. Yeah. Jim Mallott has been yep. excellent with his calls yeah, all day long. 
and he got it right. He of the officiating crew that's been rotating all over the floor throughout this day, they have been on their game. Very few complaints. Absolutely. Boying sets it up wide. No. It was wide. Boy, I tell you. I, I don't think anybody got a piece. I don't know if that's what no. he thought. There's no doubt that was wide. The official the line judge, Brian Washburn, in front of the DeSales bench made a slow motion to rise that flag up. Yeah, and I, I think he was right. The DeSales bench thought he was going to signal in and then changed his mind. 23-17. White on the right. Brockman with the hustle. Here's Vornhagen. Halverson goes safe. Boying. Missed oh, time missed time it. Patrick Ray puts it away, and now the Rams have seven set points. Yeah, Ray got up to the top while the sales player was coming on his way back down. This has been the highest level of play from any team in any set we've seen thus far from Baden. Play by Hoing off the net. White. Brockman right in position. Bornhagen to Halverson, and it's over. You know, I know what the score in that set says, 25-17, but I thought the sales played great. Baden just exquisite in set number one of the semifinal. They win it 25-17. Here's a look at your OHS BBA Regional All-Stars. Baden wins the first set 25-17 over to sales. And Skinny, if there is such a thing as a flawless first set, we just about saw it from the Rams. Yeah, I'd love to honestly see the stats for Baden because I... I can't remember more than an error, maybe? Maybe? Not much. There was a service error, if I recall right, one that went in the net. Yeah. And then there was one long that Brockman had. Other than that, I don't remember much. Wait, could you ask any more for if you're an each or Brockman right. on the sideline? I would say to my and son, you best get this serve in, though. <laughs> For Andy Feltz, and what we talked about late in the first set, just stick with it. Yeah. If you're, you have to assume Baton is not going to continue to play as well as they did. You would hope not if you're to sales. There but they continue to defend. Halverson goes long. Marchio. Brockman set it up. Where does he go? Of course he goes to Eli Halverson. And of course Halverson delivers. He has been magnificent thus far. He's been the best player we've seen throughout this entire tournament from either division. Yeah, and the problem for DeSales is, is Hoings, while he's six feet eight, he's a skinny six eight, and Halverson's just so powerful. You don't face many guys like Halverson's power. No. I'm sure he defends quite well against almost everybody else. White had to gather and misses wide. It's two nothing in favor of Baden. Uh, Halverson just doesn't miss. A miss hit off the first from Gabrielli, and the roll continues. The three-minute set break doesn't seem to matter right now for either team. It is all Baden. I do like how Baden's bench. They're really into it, too. Gabrielli, a better job handling. It's still not great. Kavanaugh, there's Brockman with the dig. Alverson block, 50-50. And just stronger are the Rams, yeah, however. I, I, I think it was a net violation on Patrick Ray, yeah, wasn't it? it? It was. That's exactly where, what it was. And so, even in that instance where Baden had the advantage, DeSales gets a break and gets Jordan Brockman off serve. Now here is Cameron Hoying. Brockman pushes it over this side. Blocked but kept alive. Filling in nicely is J.J. Even, but Luke Dwyer couldn't get back in position. The Stallions fans just looking for anything to get themselves going, much less their team. I think that was Michael Hunsicker who had the block. Brockman, is he setting up Halverson? Of course he is. Point did the best he could. He got a piece of it. Problem is all you're trying to do is get any kind of piece of it moving forward. Right now, these strikes from Halverson are essentially Vicious. indefensible. It's not like he's six foot eight, 240 no. pounds. He's only 6'3", he's but he times everything beautifully. Marchio with the back set to White. That is a beautiful back set from Sam Marchio. We've seen White time some stuff up very well as well. Four, he's got three. that powerful serve. Could he go on a run here? The sales could use it. They've settled in now, scoring three of the last yep. four. Just, oh, missed, just missed. Man, just a hair. Yeah, that was the right call, but boy, that didn't miss by much. Ray on serve. 
There's just no room for error right now for this DeSales team. White down to a knee. Hoying setting up Kavanaugh. Beauty. Some of the more crisp offense we've seen from DeSales thus far. He's powerful too, Kavanaugh. He's only six feet tall. He's had a handful it's, of kills. It's not supposed to be the smaller guys no. that are the most powerful. Him and White. Uh-oh. This is going over. Patterson able to get it done. Didn't catch it clean, but still good enough, and we're tied at five. He didn't catch it clean, you're right, but he caught it the right time. Six foot six helping out in his favor in that time, and now it's five of the last seven to the Stallions. Caught some tape. Playable Brockman, the back set, not his yeah, best. Not the best at all. Dwyer into the net. Yeah, Dwyer had no chance at that one. That was a tough set that time from Brockman. In the first set, Brockman will give up one of those every once in a while. One, maybe two per set, and DeSales has taken advantage both times. And now the Stallions in the lead. To the middle, blocked by Patterson. In short bursts, Zane Patterson has been a big factor up front for St. Francis de Sales. And then he took his right foot and stomped it straight into the ground like a stallion. I think trying to keep himself and his team pumped up. Oldhouse to serve and misses badly. Still though, it's clear. After that 3-0 start for Baden, that DeSales has upped their game. Yep. And either you're going to have to or you're going to get run out of here. Because Baden is unlikely to come down. Kavanaugh trying to push it through, covered nicely. Brockman, and it's sent over. Marchio looking for Kavanaugh. Had to step back just a bit. Halverson with the dig. Brockman going to set up even. And got it. Yeah, Leo Hoppe, the libero, had a hard time with that one. He had the right angle defensively, got a piece of it, but wasn't sure what to do with his hands, really. All set up from a perfect pass yep. from Jordan Brockman. Luke Dwyer with the set tied at seven. Mark Hill off to the side. See how much White gets on this. Plenty. Plenty. <laughs> Even. Got it. He's so good at cutting cross court. Did that often against LaSalle in the regional final and puts his team ahead here. That angle was perfect. Another one that's not easy to cut it like that. No, that was, he didn't have a ton on it. He had some juice, but not a ton, but the angle was just dead perfect. Going out, looking for Kavanaugh. Blocked, playable. Safely over from Hunsaker. Brockman, where does he go? Into the middle, Wagner's blocked, but a net violation against Zane Patterson. Keeps it over here with Baton. We've talked about that in some other matches today. When teams have gone to that middle attack, they've had great success. They don't even gone to it often. That's one of the first times we've seen it blocked, and it ended up being, unfortunately, a violation. And even more of a surprise, given how much of a size advantage St. Francis de Sales has at the net against Baton. Kavanaugh, the pass just led him too far. Not a good ball from Cameron Hoying. And it's now 10-7 in favor of the Rams. Seeing Baden once again, the thing that strikes me is they just keep leaning on their opponents. Just keep the yep. pressure on. Keep it strong. Keep it consistent. They've rolled off four straight points. Kavanaugh has to wait on it. Alverson there. Brockman to even. It is all Baden once again. And Andy Feltz incensed with his front line. Well, here's the thing. Right now, Halverson's playing on the back line. He makes the play there defensively. And then now on the front line, it's even who's taking charge. Yeah, this Baden team, maybe more so than anyone else in this tournament, not a one-trick pony. Going to the back line. This is going back over. And the sales will regather. Kavanaugh. Brockman, where does he go? Eli Halverson and White cannot oh, get there. Great effort. Hoppe with a great effort. He saw it where it was hit. He just had to circle under it like an outfielder for a tough fly ball and a timeout. 
Baden asserting itself once again. The number one team in the state playing like it. They lead to sales 12-7 in the second. Welcome back. Baden leading to sales 12-7. One of the many stalwarts of these fine schools and their athletic programs in the state of Ohio. Busy sports day for both school sports programs. I don't know we have these teams in volleyball playing, but the the sales lacrosse team won the Division II state championship. Boys lacrosse team and the Baden baseball team won today to get to the Division Three or the, the Final Four. Point to DeSales. They needed that badly. Now, as is usually the key in these situations, you get a point back out of a timeout. Can you string it? Exactly. I don't think they put that point up on the board. There we go, 12-8. Gabrielli has been inconsistent on serve thus far. This one, no problem. Halverson from the back, misses wide. Good read by Marchio. One of the few hitting errors for Halverson. Maybe the first. I say, is he up to one? Yeah. He is now. <laughs> Even gets a chance. Good stab by Marchio. White from the back. In. And got it. Yep, perfectly a placed. A delayed reaction. I think the Stallions fans thought that one was out. No, he got that just in that little corner down there. And fighting back now is DeSales with three in a row. Halverson down to his backside and not sure why Zach Wagner is cutting in in front of his setter, Jordan Brockman there. Boy, the first breakdown in communication all night from Baden. Four in a row now for Gabrielli. They continue to target Halverson yep. on these serve receives. Even finds a space through Patterson How about and Hoying. This second set for Even. He was an honorable mention selection in the South region. Playing like a first team all stater here in this second set. An ace. There's, 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 there's no words that can explain that, right? No. I mean, it just is what it is. You see it about, what, three to five times a match probably? Just no rhyme or reason. Nope. And most of the time it crawls over just like we saw. Yep. Hoying out wide. Vornhagen, beautiful dig. Hoying gets wow. it right back. Well played point by Hoying. Great play on the back line defensively, as you mentioned, by Vornhagen, but it came right back up to a T for the 6'8", Lanky Hoying. The sails back within two. Even off to the side, Brockman comes to get it. Halverson takes a little off down to a knee as Gabrielli. When tried for the turn and Brockman down. tried it. He'll do that every once in a while, but didn't quite get enough. Well, Hoing tried the turn and dump, and he tried the turn and spike. I think he might want to reverse that the next yeah, time. Exactly. Kevin Ott to serve for the tie. No, and there you see <laughs> so, the net rejection. It's just so crazy. I mean. That could hit the net and flip the other side just as easily and does. Hoying looks out wide to Cameron White. Cross court even is there. Brockman with Halverson back up front delivers again. He just turned to that student section and shushed him. He put his... Index finger yes. over his mouth. They must be riding him pretty good. The DeSales student section was behind the DeSales bench in, in, in the first set, and they moved to start the second. Patterson rejected in the middle, and it's Patrick Ray. Little stomp on the ground uh -huh. from the team after that one. A little return of the favor from earlier, and the lead for Baden back to four. Boing. White. Even got it off the roof. Oh, they're going to play this, aren't they? Holy cow. 
White not there, kept alive by Ray. Halverson, this is a tough angle, and he sets it over. Point quick in the middle, Patterson goes long. That was a great point. But how about playing it off the rafters, which you're allowed, in case you're wondering, yes. you're allowed to do that. But it's not easy to do that, because it's going to take a weird bounce most times. White, the target this time, handles it. Kavanaugh from the back, not even close. I thought again Hoing was going to turn and dump. I think if I'm him, I may do that on this next go-through just to get yourself a cheapie, perhaps. They're going to need another timeout. Boy, Baden just doesn't stop. No, they do not, and they keep building the lead. It's up to six, late in the second, with the DeSales Stallions looking for answers. The St. Francis DeSales crowd trying to give their team a boost in the arm as they sense their team in a bit of a rough spot, down six to the number one Baden Rams here in the second set. Horn hanging quick with the serve after the whistle. Cameron White even has been so good in this second set. Brockman to Halverson and tipped and thus playable. Kavanaugh goes to the back line and Bornhagen is there. Even bumps it over and misses wide. Yeah, they do, Baden does a really good job of letting, even though he has to cover ground, letting Brockman set almost everything possible. Even if he has to run long distances to do so. Marchio on serve. Halverson with the swing and gets through Allhouse. And you see how far Brockman went that time. He went a long distance to set that one, too. And you continue to see the strength of Halverson with those yep. swings, getting through the size of the Stallions and Jordan Brockman on serve. White, nasty. He hits it about as clean as anybody. I've, I cannot recall a miss hit from him at all in this match thus far. Yeah, he, I mean, it's everything other than the one from the back line, I believe. He'll head out now. And Hoying goes back to serve. Going right back over and doing the right thing up front is Michael Massman who just came in. Baden trying to say that was a carry. It was close. And Anitra Brockman says calm down, no worries. Brockman... Cross court this time goes to Dwyer. I think the sales was assuming Brockman was going to Halverson on the back set. Yeah, there wasn't much defensive help on that side where Dwyer swung from. He had pretty much a clean court to hit to. Cameron White back in for Massman. Five point lead for the Rams with Halverson on serve. This time the jump. A rare error for Halverson. All right, so now you got your one of your at least one of your main servers, if not your best in white back there. You need to put a run on if you're DeSales right here, right now. Can't give this back quickly. Blocked. Still playable. Brockman will reload. Pass out a little wide. It's poked over and will be within play. Great scramble from DeSales. It doesn't seem to matter as J.J. Even still makes it playable. What a great scrambling from both. Dwyer drops the hammer. Every time DeSales gets something going, Baden is there with the answer. I mean, DeSales played that great defensively three or four different times, and Baden still gets the points. And again, we got some chirping going on between Halverson and the student section. Going with the back set this time. Sent back over by Even, and everybody's frozen. And DeSales does not have a timeout to use to stop this. And if Even hadn't gotten a piece of that, Halverson was diving. I don't think Halverson would have gotten it. 23-17, Baden. Marchio cuts in front of White, and now it's seven set points for the Rams. And it comes so fast. This is just an onslaught from the Baden Rams. It's almost like flipping a switch. Yep. Marchio, near side, playable. Brockman to set it up. Dwyer closes it out. This is as dominant of a display as we've seen from anyone, Division I or Division II, 
Baden for the second straight time wins a set 25 to 17. They are on the brink of a state final appearance on the other side of this break. And while we have a break, let's take a look at our state all-stars. This Baden team is legit. The third set about to begin with the Rams leading two sets to none, but an ace for Michael Kavanaugh to start the third. But back to that point, looking at the Baden Rams in 24-2 on the season. They have not just beaten up on the smaller D2 teams. They've played up a lot, Skinny, and have taken out some really strong D1 teams on the year. Yeah, 7-1 and one against D1s, and one of the, the one loss was a five-setter to Beaver Creek. They lost to Carroll, actually, to start the season off. And then turned around and beat Carroll later in the season in straight sets. Double hit called on this side. Saw exactly right there in that meeting at the summit between Halverson and Hoying. Despite Halverson giving up about six inches in height, he just flat out out-muscled Cameron Hoying to push that ball over. Boy, oh, missed time there. Yeah, I thought it looked like Hoying was trying to turn and dump, and it was kind of an in-between decision on his part. Feltz looking at Aldhouse and now asking for an explanation from the down ref, David Barnes. Could you get a replay here? He's going to argue for it, I think. I don't know if he's going to get it. I'm not sure what the violation was, do you? I, I don't think, I didn't see anything. Now, Gabrielli trying to plead his case. Possible rotation? Maybe, but whatever the case may be, it's a point to Baden, yep. and so they lead two to one. Unless he committed a net violation. So the pass from Hoying, and then Aldhouse missed on the swing. But again, not sure. Person, perfect feed from the setter Jordan Doesn't, Brockman. Doesn't miss misses. many of those. His placement was almost dead solid perfect, just a hair too far outside the line. No proof that Eva, uh, Eli Halverson is quasi-human. At least based on his play in this match, we're tied at two here in the third. Now Hoying. Ooh, that was a bullet. That's his best Ooh. serve of the night. The rare time Sam Bornhagen couldn't get it for the Rams. Yeah, he's going un unsung Bornhagen, the libero. He's made a bunch of plays on that back line and handled some service very nicely as well. Doesn't have to this time as Hoying goes long. Finished fifth in the GCL co-ed in digs. You can see why. Halverson to serve. He got 58 service aces on the season. Hoying, this time it is caught by all house, but playable. Dwyer has come on as of late, but can't get this one down. This is going to be a 50-50 ball, and that'll be advantage to DeSales as Ray caught a piece of it on the way out. Both Ray and Aldhouse went up almost exactly at the same time, and it definitively deflected off of 16 Patrick Ray. White to play with his team ahead one. Catches tape, Bornhagen able to handle easily. Even blocked, but out. Boy, that was a big time double thud as Evan Allhouse 15 and Michael Hunsicker 9 both went up to get a piece of it, but sent it sideways instead of forward. Patrick Ray on serve. Wing out wide, looking for Kavanaugh, blocked and back over. The sales in scramble mode. Free ball for Brockman. The back set on the slide, Dwyer delivers on the right. He has come on as of late. Well, they're so good defensively, A. B, then you've got Dwyer when he gets to the front line, and even when he gets to the front line, and Halverson's on the back line, you still don't lose much. You could make the argument this is Baden's best lineup right now. That might right be now. right. With even on the left, this time a point is through. With even on the left, Dwyer on the right, and Halverson coming from the back. There's just nowhere to game plan for to try yep. to anticipate. And Brockman has all of those weapons at his disposal. And yet the sales serving for the lead here in set three. Old house misses. Now Dwyer rotates back to serve. You still have Halverson on the back line at the moment. He's back left, so he's one away yep. from a move to the front. 
The back set to White, nicely done. Dwyer couldn't get in position. We talked about it during the set break, Skinny. How often do you routinely see a 6'8 performer setting it up for his six-foot teammate and setting it backwards for him, no less? And I mean, he doesn't miss. No. As clean of contact, maybe even more so than anyone we've seen in this tournament, Division One or Two. Dwyer got caught in between. Oh, that was going out. Yeah, White should have let that one go. Kavanaugh has it blocked, and it'll be advantage to Baden. Cameron White with a rare error. Is that Brockman error. who blocked that? Yes, it was. Brockman was there, so was Zach Wagner. I do. I think, I think it was Brockman at all of five foot eight. JJ even to serve. Baden leading seven six and a miss. The sales crowd hasn't gotten a little more juice to try to get their team a little energized. I think they could use it. This is going to be a 50-50 one. Brockman oh. over with the second. Wow, he, he crossed him up big time. Five foot eight, challenging 6'6", yep. six, six, Zane Patterson, and the little guy wins it. Well, they were setting up for the block. And I don't think they anticipated Brockman doing the turn and semi-spike. White takes something off. Halverson in perfect position. He'll get the return for Brockman. Oh. Everybody was set up for the cross-court spike. Did you see him defensively? Yes. And he saw the floor. He read it perfectly. Went to the empty area. Right now, there is just no weakness in this Rams lineup. Boying with the back. Set Kavanaugh. Brockman. He'll go to Halverson. Halverson goes cross court. Marchio has been up and down on these handles of those Halverson strikes. It's been like this all three sets. You look up yeah. and you're like, Sales is playing really well, and they're down three. Yes. And it's been right around this point in each of the first two sets that things have just gotten worse. There it was. I've been waiting for him to do that more. Just, I think, the second time he's done that here today thus far, Cameron Hoying on that yep. dump. He did it once in the first, and it worked. Once actually fairly early in the first set. I yeah. thought it might be a routine thing that he'd do. I think it should be a routine thing. Marchio on serve. Good dive from Kavanaugh on the back. Nice. White, nicely done. And believe it or not, that was not a great ball to swing at either. You talk about a contortion, and he twisted his body in the air to get himself a great angle at it. Well, got an angle at it, but also to immediately snap that arm back oh, yeah. and not make net contact. And there it is again, that little 50-50. They think can just as easily flip across. I think there's like a little guy up there that decides which way he's going to knock it. I agree. A little devil on the shoulder yep, exactly. this time says no. Wags his figure like the Kembe Mutombo. You actually. got it. Halverson looking. Halverson swinging. So powerful. Halverson delivering. I mean, Evan Aldhouse went up and had a pretty good opportunity to block it. It's just too much power. you got to wonder, as well, how much frustration may be starting to set in for DeSales. As we've talked about, they're not playing a bad match. No. They're just getting beaten at seemingly every turn. Great scramble from Baden. Quick play, nice. Yep, like it. Althouse. And a great set from Hoying, but the two of them timed that perfectly. And despite how well Baden is playing, if you're a DeSales fan, you've got to look at the scoreboard and say, hey, we're only down two here. And you got a powerful server in Hoying. And he's going to go with the change up a little bit. Halverson. My goodness. He's been the best player in this tournament thus far. Through the four Division I quarterfinal matchups we had and the first Division II semifinal, I haven't seen a better player than Eli Halverson. Been pretty doggone good. Here he is on serve. Marchio in great position this time. To White on the right side. Boy, what a job for Bornhagen just to get that one. Boing, back to White, and I don't think that was touched by Baden. Doesn't matter anyway. 14-10 in favor of the Rams. <laughs> and you look up and there's Halverson to serve. One of their better servers, if not their best. 
Caught some tape, but playable. Ooh, another quick one you, from Allhouse. When, when you get the 6'8 guy setting it quickly to the 6'6 guy, not a lot of room that's got to be covered there. They can do that quickly, and it's the last couple of points for them have come off of that. Well, yeah, I got to tell you, if I'm to sales too, I start going to that more until Baden makes an adjustment. Right. I wouldn't change that because it's working. I mean, I think their offensive attack's been really good. It's the yeah. problem is they just been Baden's been hard to stop offensively, and Baden's been really good defensively. There's a great offensive attack again. JJ even on the left. JJ even on the left. Luke Dwyer on the right. Eli Halverson everywhere. You have nightmares. 15-11. There again, the quick set this, almost worked. This time, Ray was in a good spot. Halverson from the back continues oh, to wow. have the run. He caught the line. I thought that was out from here, but obviously yeah. right on top of it. Andy Feltz just yep. holding his clipboard, and he's going to call a timeout. And yep. I don't know what kind of adjustments I he don't can either. make right I now. I don't either. Baden in control of this one, leading 16-11 in the third. The Baden Rams flexing their muscle as the number one team in Division Two. Leading 16-11 in the third set against DeSales. Already ahead, two sets to none in the match. The Carroll Patriots waiting for the winner of this match in the state championship tomorrow afternoon. Oh, free play here. Dwyer. Rare miss. Pass a little behind. Yeah. But just a rare missed opportunity. Baden doesn't miss many of those. No, and if you're DeSales, you're at a point now. You have to take yeah, advantage. this is your opportunity here. Evan Aldhouse to Vornhagen, who's handled almost every serve flawlessly. Blocked nice beautifully block. up front. Hunsaker got it. Sixteen thirteen in favor of Baden. The run has to come now. Even off to his left, plays it. Going to get it back from Brockman. It's blocked again. And perhaps a run I building. that was Patterson that time. Althaus once more. This is going to be a 50-50 ball. Patterson with the read and the Stallions within one. And Anitra Brockman not one to utilize the timeouts very often. But I think we see one, maybe two more from St. Francis. She may go ahead and take one. Yeah, two more, I think, for sure. Let's... Even just taps it over. This will go back to Baden and playable for Brockman. Ooh, not a great set. Punched over, free ball for Brockman once again. This pass, a good one to even. It's blocked, but out. I'll tell you, that was some great action at the net there by the sales that whole time defensively. It's unfortunate for them that one went out because they were meeting the challenge every time. Uh, Hunsaker and Patterson, a very good one-two defensive combo. And this is where Baden has usually taken over the match. Dwyer to serve. Hornhagen down on the floor. Alverson, not his best. Kavanaugh winds up. Brockman loads it up for Dwyer. And a Point good job of the net. Yeah, that was 14, I think. Wagner. Wagner. Another situation where DeSales is doing everything right on their end, and they still don't get the result on the board. And then you're going to look up. It's going to be 22-15 before you know it. Going back to White. Wire's going to send that one over. It's sent back to him. And now, even. Marchio down. Kavanaugh. Took a little off. Bornhagen, he has been brilliant. Halverson, touched by Patterson. Boing, back to White. Cut it wide. That's all because of the great defense from Baden. I mean, they, there were three great shots from DeSales that were defended. They just grind you. Nineteen fifteen in favor of Baden in the third. A 
Gabrielli not there. Brockman goes over with the second. White has to dive. Out wide. Kavanaugh not there. Did somebody get a piece or that just get it to the net? Never, never got never over. Never got over because Wagner and Brockman were up there. 20 to 15. I think one more here. You're going to see DeSales burn their last time out. Well, I said 22-15 before you look up. They're trying to get there. Kavanaugh dug out and over. And DeSales will reload and it miscommunication. Brockman tries to go for everything and missed it long and nearly sent it out of the gym. His mom kind of cocked her head sideways like, I don't know if that was... Yeah. Who taught you that? Yeah. And Brockman, he, he's just, Jordan's, just a, Jordan's just a sophomore, so... Receiving the message from mom slash coach to settle down. Good play by Hoppe. Kavanaugh plays it off the tape. White from the back. And a read. In. Not there from Dwyer, and it is in. He's been the best I've seen today from the back line yeah. being able to score points like that. No question. Well, he could play and start for any team in this tournament, no Division doubt. One or Two. Luke Gabrielli. Good ball up to Brockman, to Wagner in the middle, and a violation called at the net against the sales. The sales. Yeah, that's a tough one because you're on a run trying to creep yeah. back in. Now you look back up, you're down four, and they're serving again. They got Patterson mm. with the violation. And now the sales can't get organized on their alignment. Boying to Patterson on the slide. Got it. Every time Hoying sets, I feel like he's going to turn and dump, but he's only done it a couple times. I did it once. I think he's early. missed some opportunities doing that. I agree. He did it once early in the first and once early in the third, and that is it. I think it's got to be the next evolution in his game. Halverson. Patterson pokes it back. Brockman reloads Halverson. Not the best oh, pass. There's the net, contact. I think that's a net ball against Halverson. Yeah. A uh, double hit. And the Stallions fans below us just looking for any reason. And that's what you have to do at this point. DeSales back within two here in the third. Halverson. Marchio handles this <laughs> nice one. Nice job handling it. White reloads. Even good ball to Brockman. Halverson goes deep again to Marchio. Kevin off from the back. Misses badly. Kevin is good at the net. That's the one thing he's had a hard time with is when he's been in the back row trying to play that the way White plays it. Sam Bornhagen on the serve. Boing to White. Got through the wall. There is Ray. Got a piece, but not enough. How about Jordan Brockman again going up to be a blocker there to help out Ray? Couldn't do it. The Stallions just keep hanging around. A situation like this, they're going to force Baden to put him away. Bornhagen can't handle oh. that one, but Baden scrambles. Brockman taps that up with the back of his hand. 50-50. And just too much size for Evan Allhouse against Jordan Brockman. Here come the sales fans coming to life a little. Well, how huge would it be for DeSales if they could force this to a fourth set. Just from just for their own psyche. Yep. Obviously they have to win it, but to battle back the way they have. They've not been in control at any point in this set, but they're coming back now. And it is Cameron Hoying with the block. And we are tied at 22. Halverson doesn't look like he's getting as much lift. He might be having tired legs a little and, bit at the moment. And I think that's why you're gonna see Baden call a timeout. DeSales has found life when they needed it the most. Late in the third, DeSales has to win the set. They're tied at 22. DeSales just keeps fighting and keeps battling, rallying from multiple five-point deficits here in the third set to draw even with the Baden Rams at 22 all. Sam Marchio to serve. Brockman. Loading up Halverson. 
Play up to the side by Kavanaugh and hit a beam and took an awkward angle back. Yeah, that uh, that's a real unfortunate bounce there because there were a couple of guys that saw it. They were trying to get to a spot to play it, and then it took a ricochet straight backwards. Jordan Brockman on serve gets the assignment from his mom slash coach. Boy, and goes with the dump. He just makes that look easy. How can it not be at six foot eight? But especially given that Baden doesn't have that size up right. front to match. That's why I'm surprised, like I said, he hasn't done it more. I agree. 23 all. Now in the rotation, White goes out. He subs out Massman up front. We'll see if that's just for one point. Ooh. Miscommunication big time. Yeah, that's a ball. Halverson stuck in front of Vornhagen. Yep. And now it is the Stallions with a set point. We saw on Tangy Liberty earlier today. Come from 2 nothing down to force a fifth. Where's Kevin Garnett when you need him? Halverson. And then there's that guy. And you knew that was had to be coming there from Halverson, taking some frustration out. Well, it does get White the chance to rotate back in. Although DeSales would have rather have not rotate back in because they would have won the point and won yes. the set. Now Halverson on serve, tied at 24. Sidewinder Marchio has to go to the floor to get it. Gabrielli out wide on the left. Even. Scrambling, but not enough for the Stallions. And now the Baton Rams are one point away from the state championship match. And DeSales will use its final timeout. The Baden Rams have been sharp all night long. They'll look to close that on the other side of this timeout. Eli Halverson's been the best player on the floor all match long, and he has the ball in hand to send Baden to the state championship out of the St. Francis DeSales timeout. The Carroll Patriots are waiting in the final for the Baden Rams. Those two teams met twice in the regular season. That would be the rubber match. It would. They split. 58 service aces for him on the season. Halverson to move on. The pass isn't there, and that's it. The pass from Cameron Hoying led Evan Aldhouse too far wide, and the Baden Rams just too good and too strong as they coast into the state championship. DeSales fought late, but it was too little too late. Baden in all three sets only needed one opportunity to close them out, showing why they're the number one team in Division Two. Yeah, they had a chance to close them out, and who knows, you get the momentum of that set, you get Baden wondering what the heck just happened to him, but instead, Baden showed some championship medal right there, showed that they've been here before with this group last year, and I think that probably paid off big time. So our schedule for tomorrow, at 10 a.m., it'll be Division One semifinal number one, Molar Beaver Creek. Then at noon, Division I semifinal number two, Elder in Centerville. At 2 o'clock, the Division II championship, the rubber match of the season between Carroll and Baden from the Greater Catholic League co-ed division. And then at 4 o'clock, the Division I championship with the semifinal winners meeting. Great day of volleyball today. It's going to be an even better one tomorrow. And we'll be looking forward to having everybody tuning in here on OHSBBABroadcast.com for all of that coverage. For our entire ESP Media crew on this day one of the tournament and my partner Richard Skinner I'm Jason Grieber thank you so much for joining us the Baden Rams flexing their muscle they will meet Carroll for the third time this season on Sunday this time it's for the state championship here on OHS BBA broadcasts.com